Hello and welcome to this video. Now in this video tutorial, I'll walk you through the usage of personal designs, okay? Now in order to find personal design section, you need to select create design. Select the fast AI image designer. Now from the menu from the top, you will see all the way towards the end something called personal designs, okay? This is the feature. Now personal, de personal designs are where everything's going to be found in terms of whatever designs that you create. Uh, typically you'll be redirected here anyway, um, but any um, designs that you want to come uh, to uh, come and download or maybe you want to edit, it is all here under this tab, okay? <clears throat> Now, an important thing to get familiar with is just this bottom uh, section here. We have a number of filters. So, um, when you know, an another way of really trying to organize your designs, make it much more easier to find specifics, you'll have a number of filters. So, anything that you create within the AI image designer here, select it. That is everything that you've created under that field. Anything you've created under the scripted storybook, you've got kids storybooks here, personalized storybooks, coloring books, consistent characters, AI illustrator, AI portrait, upscaler, etc. etc. So it just keeps things a lot more organized. Now, another great tool uh, I think that's going to be really, really important. So if you create any designs and then you no longer require them, you've got a couple of options. You can actually do a bulk download. Okay, so if you want to just download everything in one go, you can do so by selecting bulk download and you can see you can choose by rows. Okay, you can do uh, row by row or you can do individuals uh, that are specific to your requirements or what you need. Now, uh, in another instance, if I just remove these, I'll show you another couple of ways. Okay, so if you wanted to move, uh, download everything in one go, you you can if you want to move everything or delete a bulk delete so if you've if you just want to remove everything you can now when it comes to bulk move okay now it's going to say move selected so in order to move it will ask you have you got uh, you know select a folder now this is a great way of, of organizing everything so when you come to your personal design uh, design section when you're creating projects typically you will be given the option anytime you're creating anything you can actually designate a selected folder so that way it keeps projects nice and clean and tidy and when you render them they will go specifically to a designated folder of your choice so say for example if you're working on project one or pro let's just call it the name project one or project two or project three or for a client a b or c you could create those specific designated folders to keep everything nice and organized and structured so um you know uh the design works not all over the place okay <clears throat> now in order to achieve this or create those folders simply come to the personal design section and you'll see this little plus icon here next to this drop down that says all folders simply select the plus sign and it will say add new folder so let's just say project one okay let's say i'm doing a project project on real estate project real estate okay and simply select add folder and that's it now that project has been created you can rename that you can delete that if you've done with a client let's just say client and let's put name here okay add folder and there we have that's their folder <clears throat> So once we've done that, you can see from the drop down now, we have all of the folders nice and organized. Now, when you're on the personal design section, when you see your um, designs, okay, let's just have a look at the design. You'll, you'll be given a number of options. Number one, you can actually download the graphic. Okay, you can download it directly or you can view the graphic. Now, depending on the particular style that you've created, you'll see on some instances, you can regenerate, make it public or remove the design or delete. And I'll explain what it means by making it public, okay? So on the design, you'll, you'll be given uh, information, the tool that was used, the style in which it was created, the aspect of re ratio, the dimensions, and the design ID. So if you ever had any issues um, with the design and you needed support, so typically what would happen if you are contacting support, they may request this from you. So it's really easy uh, for us to um, narrow down and find specifics when it comes to any kind of help or support that you may uh, require now you can see the status is private so this is not shared with the public meaning there's a community designs tab which i'll show in just a moment and then you can see the folder okay the folder if you want to manually do this you could actually then select um, any folder select it and then what will happen you can see now it's been moved successfully 
Alongside that, you'll have a number of options where you can share this on social media, whether it's Facebook, X or uh, Pinterest. Alongside that, you know, when you download it, you can actually place that anywhere uh, regardless. Okay, so coming to community designs, there will be uh, a video for that. But if we were to look at community designs, any designs here, okay, um, you could make this available. And another great thing, just to quickly touch on this, because there will be a separate video for this. Uh, anyone that's created anything and they've made it public, you can come and take inspiration. You could come and view it. You could take the prompt so you could recreate it. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could take any image that you created. Say, for example, if I take this image here and I could make it public, once I make it public, I could share it with the community and, you know, um, allow others to see those designs. And there's so many designs that are co consistently being pushed in this section. It just allows you to uh, see what others are doing, take inspiration and give you ideas and things that you could repurpose. You can clearly see pe what people are doing. OK, so just coming back to personal design section, another key thing that you can do when you're on this section is <clears throat> when you see a design, you do have the ability of editing an image where if you do select it, you'll see you'll be redirected to the advanced AI image designer where you have further uh, ability of modifying and editing the image, whether you want to use, uh, you know, the application or custom consistent characters you can upscale you can stylize you can do instant scene you can add text you can object remover remove items merch magic you can smart you can extend this the scene in painting face swap and so 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 much more so this is this this will take your your um, designs even to another level of uh, editing by using this functionality uh, just by coming to that section so this is where essentially is the hub where all your images will be and this is where they'll be located where you'll have the options you can view you can take the prompt repurpose them you can download them you can get the information that's required or you can go ahead and further edit okay so in this video we've looked at the tab of personal designs and another way you can do bulk delete download and even move to the respective folders and i'll just show you this actually bulk move so if i took all of these these could be for a project and I simply go to um, move, we select move selected. I go to the client folder in question and move. And that's it. Now, if I go to this specific folder in question, let's go to client name here. You can see here we have all of those items that I had just moved. So that's how you would use the personal design section.